Hello, I am Elizabeth Jones, 10th National President of the National Coalition of 100 Black Women Incorporated. I bring greetings on behalf of all the activist women that comprise NCBW. NCBW joins the world in celebrating Women's History Month. March is set aside to give special recognition to women who work every day to make this world a better place and to highlight their contributions in history and contemporary society. You see, women make a difference. Not a small difference, but a big and critical one. This month, we have created a special tribute for those who have served with us nationally for 15 years or more. We are officially honoring these NCBW history makers during Women's History Month as keepers of the flame because they have continued to carry on the work our founder, Edna Beach, started. Women who have dedicated their time and talents. There are four national directorate members that meet the criteria for this award. We want you to meet them one by one. And we know the best way to do that is to let you learn more about their contributions through video tributes. The National Coalition of 100 Black Women Incorporated takes this moment in time to honor the memories of two deceased board members. Both served on the National Board for 18 years. Dr. Sandra Faye Mack passed from this life to the next in January of 2023. She was 83 years old. Dr. Mack was one of the three founding members of our organization's Silicon Valley chapter and was the chartering president of the Las Vegas, Nevada chapter, where she moved to in retirement. Dr. Mack spent most of her professional life as an educator. She retired as a high school district administrator in California. Dr. Mack was also a registered parliamentarian and served as the national parliamentarian for the organization. The National Coalition of 100 Black Women Incorporated also mourns the loss of board member Mary Louise Hardin of Indianapolis, Indiana. Ms. Hardin passed away October of 2022. She was 80 years old. She worked for the United States Department of Defense for 38 years and retired in 1999. She was a proud coalition member for 37 years and served as the board secretary for one four-year term and the treasurer during a different term. These two women are sincerely missed. We will always remember their contributions, their wisdom, and the dedication to our organization and its mission. You'll learn more about these amazing women during this year's Biennial Conference. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the National Coalition of 100 Black Women Incorporated.